Hello guys, today I'm going to tell you about a Hive installation and run free queries on Hive. So prerequisites for Hive installation are you need to have Hadoop installed and also Java. Then you need to download the Apache Hive tarball from Google, uh, through Google Apache releases or you can just directly execute this wget utility to download Apache Hive. So I have already uh, downloaded Apache Hive tarball. So let's get started with extracting this file. So after extraction, we need to add a uh, couple of variables to bash rc file and also dot profile. So this is nothing but we should add Hive home, uh, and then we should add this Hive home variable to the path variable to specify where Hive is installed. So let's do this by appending to dot bash rc. Similarly, this exercise should be repeated to for uh, dot profile. Then source dot bash rc and dot profile. So after this, you need to uh, set some of the configuration variables in hive dot hive hyphen site dot xml. You will find uh, as of Hadoop, you will not find hive hyphen site xml in apache uh, folder if you go to the conf directory there you will list some of the files uh, you will have default xml file but you will not have hive hyphen site xml we need to create hive hyphen site xml and add some of the configuration variable from this default.xml which you which variables which uh, you want to change so particularly we will add these variables uh, so this is hive CLI print current DB. So when you start Hive, you will be seeing which database you are in, and also Hive CLI print header. So what this does is, uh, whenever you do select star, so uh, it will print the header in the prompt, and so Hive execute dynamic uh, partition mode. So with the name itself, you can see. So this is a uh, non-strict mode. Uh, is for uh, some of the purposes like suppose if you want to run uh, um, acid properties update delete or any other uh, statement so we should set this dynamic partition mode to non-strict mode okay so let's copy these uh, right now this non uh, partition mode is not uh, needed for us so let's copy these two uh, properties let's remove all together so let me copy this whole thing and you need to copy this to hive hyphen site dot xml insert it then done yeah so you need to before running hive you need to start all the hadoop services let's see i have already started the services so you can see the secondary name node data node track uh, task tracker job tracker and name node are already started so uh, let's start with hive let's see whether we are uh, going uh, whether we are getting any errors or not so I have just typed Hive. So let's wait for a couple of seconds. So yeah, so the Hive uh, cell started. So we can execute some of the queries. Let's say show databases. So you can see a default database will be there for you. So you can create tables let's say we will create a table with one column create table sample let's say column name will be line and the data type is string right and then row format delimited fields terminated by any delimiter you give it right now then stored as text file so this will create your table uh, you have table created let's see if we have any file in the current directory so you can execute uh, hadoop commands or normal unix commands in hive shell by placing exclamatory mark before the command so you can see it's, uh, some of the files in the present directory so this sample that let's see what are the contents of sample that file so this whole line I will be reading into this particular sample table which I have created. So the command to load the particular table load data 
we are loading from local file system so we have to use local as a keyword if you are loading from the hdfs file system we do not need to specify the local keyword over there in path as it is current present in the same directory where we ran hive shell so i, I will just uh, mention the sample dot file name into table sample as the data is loaded let's see the contents of the table select star from sample there you can see the content of the table so this ends uh, the hive installation and running few queries so you can also change some of the uh, uh, properties in hive uh, hyphen site.xml uh, so the meta store whenever we create tables so the metadata will get stored in meta store db so the by default apache hive release comes with the uh, derby database so if you want to store your metadata in mysql or any other database you need to install it and then you have to specify in hyphen site xml uh, this ends the hive installation and some of the uh, uh, queries we ran it and some of the features we have seen thank you for watching this video